Hello friends, this video on integrals part 28 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 27. Let's solve this question. First we can just factorize this, this becomes x squared minus 1 into x squared plus 1. And further factorize this guy, this becomes 1 by x minus 1 into x plus 1 into x squared plus 1. This kind of factor we have to write in this form a by x minus 1 plus b by x plus 1 plus c x plus t by x squared plus 1. Why? Because this is x squared plus 1 is not further factorizing. Now we have to find the value of a, b, c and d. So what we can do? We can do right like this. This guy becomes x to the power 4 minus 1 and this becomes a into x plus 1 into x squared plus 1. right plus b into x minus 1 into x square plus 1 plus c x plus b into x square plus 1 correct now i have to find the value of these things right a b c and d i have two approach and this guy is equal to 1 by x for 4 minus 1 so I can either uh, keep putting the values x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, right, that kind of thing. Or I can uh, solve this, I will get the coefficient of x cube, x square, those kind of things, right. And then I can equate the values. For example, if I solve this further, I will get the coefficient of x cube as a plus b plus c and x square as minus a plus b plus d and x as a plus b minus c and some constant that is minus a plus b plus d right this by x to the power 4 minus 1 is equal to 1 by x to the power 4 minus 1 if you compare the coefficient of x cube is 0 so you can write first equation as a light somewhere here a plus b plus c is equal to 0. Similarly, this guy also 0, coefficient of x square, I can write minus a plus b plus d. Coefficient of x is also 0, so a plus b plus c is also 0. And this is 1 actually, so I can write minus a plus b minus d is equal to 1. This is minus. So if we solve these, if we solve these equations, right, taking 2 each time, right, so what you can get is, this is minus a plus b minus, a plus b minus, so what you will get is, for example, if you take these two equations, right, a plus b plus c is equal to 0 and a plus b minus c is equal to 0, if you add both sides, you get c is equal to 0, right, if you add these two, you get c is equal to 0 and a plus b also 0. Right, this is c is equal to 0 and a plus b is equal to 0. And then you keep, keep solving, you'll get a is equal to minus 1 by 4, b is equal to 1 by 4, and d is equal to minus 1 by 4. That is what you will get. Solve all this, you'll get to the values. So now this is I can write integral of x to the power 4 minus 1 dx as nothing but minus 1 by 4 integral of x minus 1 dx plus b that is 1 by 4, 1 by x plus 1, correct, dx plus c x plus d, this c is 0, x plus d is minus 1 by 2, integral of 1 by x square plus 1, right, now finding is easy, how, this guy is nothing but 1 by 4 log of x minus 1, this guy is nothing but 1 by 4 log of x plus 1, and this guy is nothing but if you see tan inverse x and if you see 1 by 4 common this becomes log of x plus 1 by x minus 1 minus 1 by 2 tan inverse x and there is minus 2. So it was not that difficult question. The only thing it was I have to convert this guy into this a x a by x minus 1 b by x plus 1 and c by x, c x plus d by x square plus 1 form find the value of a, b, c and get the answer.
Let's see what will happen if I get this kind of equation x to the power n plus 1 and x. This kind of equation if you see the only thing I have is I can put this guy as n x to the power n is equal to t sorry x to the power n is equal to t or I get n x to the power n minus 1 dx is equal to dt or I get dx as nothing but dt by x to the power n minus 1. I am just trying. Correct. So, if this dot dx is, I have to find dx becomes dt by n x to the power n minus 1 into x and this becomes t or it means this is t plus 1. So, this plus 1 is going to be t. So, this is t. Anything is fine actually. If I assume this guy also t is okay. Okay, let's assume this guy only has t. x to the power n equal to t. So this is t plus 1. Now if you observe this carefully, this is nothing but n x to the power n into t plus 1. And x to the power n is again t, I know. This is nothing but dt by n t into t plus 1. Correct. Since n is constant, I can say that is nothing but 1 by n into 1 by t t plus 1 dt. Correct. So what we have seen there, this such a complex thing is converted into a simpler form now. Why simpler form? Because 1 by t into 1 by t plus 1, I can just write this guy as a by t plus b by t plus 1 form. Correct. If you solve the values of a and b, I think you will get a as 1 and b as minus 1. So the same thing I can write as 1 by n into 1 by t plus, sorry, 1 by t minus 1 by t plus 1 dt and there is nothing but 1 by n 1 by t dt minus 1 by n again constant 1 by t plus 1 dt correct and this is nothing but 1 by n my constant log of t minus log of t plus 1 correct and this is nothing but 1 by n log of t by t plus 1 and what is the value of t? x to the power n. So this becomes log of x to the power n by x to the power n plus 1. n plus constant. That is my answer. So we have to add constant everywhere. So what you see in this case, we have used substitution plus partial fraction to solve this question. So we don't use only one method. Sometimes we use multiple methods. For example, multiple tools actually to solve. In this case, we use first use the substitution method to convert this into simpler form, little simpler form. And then we use partial fraction to convert into full simple form. And then we got the answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.